I might want to tweak it around a bit. We'll see. Louisiana. Okay, uh, I need to specify. This tier list will be for random battles. Some of these ships, like for example Louisiana, in stuff like comp and ranked, is much, 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 much stronger because uh, plane spotting is hilariously broken. But then in randoms, where usually there's already carriers and subs and shit, um, Louisiana's plane spotting isn't nearly as powerful as it as it would be there. So uh, need need to take that into account. Especially lately, looking at the matchmaking, I feel like there's been a carrier in almost every single game. So Louisiana's plane spotting isn't as oppressive as it would be in well in comp where there is no plane spotting or in ranked if there's no one team doesn't have a carrier and louisiana just flies around spotting and bombing so hmm my question is where i want to put it uh i would probably put it like i would probably put it somewhere somewhere around b a or b it might be a strong b weak a for just solo random battles I feel like besides it can spot for itself, which is super strong, but with all the ways to spot right now, it's somewhere in this gap. Somewhere in this gap. It would it would probably have been an easy A before they nerfed the bombs. Because then you could literally just strike DDs yourself. But now after they nerfed the bomb ellipse, I would probably put it as a strong B. Roughly a strong B. Colombo? Okay, here, here I need to specify. This is my opinion. There are actually some people who can play the Colombo and are really good at playing the Colombo and they can succeed in it. That's not me. I suck at Colombo. I hate Colombo. I, I, those who watched my me before know that there is one thing I value above everything else on a battleship and that is consistent strong guns. I like big numbers. I like, like big bada booms. Uh, Colombo doesn't give that to me. I hate Colombo guns. It's it, it, a common theme in the Italian BBs is if you load anything but sap, you're, 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 you're griefing yourself. So, I hate Colombo and Colombo probably hates me back. So I'm just going to throw this down here in the D. I don't like this ship at all. Uh, I, I, there's nothing about the ship that I enjoy. Everything about it is frustrating. Everything about it is frustrating. Everything about it makes drives me up the wall. I, I, I just hate that thing. Skill issue, very, very possible. Very possible. As I said, there's probably people who can make it work. I can't. I hate it. Perhaps low C tier. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm, I'm tempted to make a, like, can we, like, uh, add a row below? And we make it, like, oops, no. What was, what was the color here? Um... What 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 do what can we make? E, E tier, and we make it like I hate that these colors are kind of the wrong way. Oh, you know what? I actually hate that these colors are the wrong way. I'm we're gonna quickly fix these colors. We're gonna quickly fix these colors. I hate that these colors are like dented. Mm. Mm. Better. Better. There we go. Better. Better. Is just dark purple, whatever. No, it's it's it fits the color scheme. This color colors look more smooth like this. It's fine. Purpler. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, no, I I, did, I literally did this just so I had to make space for the German battleships. <laughs> that, that's literally why I did it. I did the extra tier. Shikishima. <sighs> Overmatch is busted, broken, stupid, annoying, frustrating. Uh, but I think Yamato with leg mod is just a better ship than Shikishima is. Um, super ship, uh, the Overmatch thing used to be much more of a gimmick as well. But nowadays, every super ship basically does it. So, yeah, no. Uh, uh, B or C, because the overmatch is really frustrating. I'll probably put it C. I, I, Shikishima just... I don't know, the, the chip doesn't scare me. Like, it, it's annoying because of the overmatch. 
and it's it's frustrating, but I feel like there's a million ways to generally outplay Shikishimas. And you can see it coming a mile away. It's got six guns. It's it, it can tilt you, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Io? Probably just A. Although to be fair, shit. I, I would have instantly thrown Ohio A, but didn't Ohio have absolutely stupid ASW range? Which is becoming more and more of an issue with the double C submarine games. We, this is for randoms, this is not for ranked. Once again, this tier list is not for ranked. Yeah, it has 6k ASW. I think the 6k ASW alone might, might push it down into, into B tier. It is garbage. Well, it is garbage. It is absolute garbage. Um, mm, Slava? I used to love Slava. I used to play the absolute living crap out of Slava. But the problem is there's been too many ships that just can't be Citadel, too many spaced armors, too many super ships with dented armor schemes. Uh, Slava isn't like the broadside deleter that it once was. It hasn't been that for years. I, I, at this point, I'm, t I'm debating whether I put it C or D. At least the guns are still accurate, and it can still, like... You can still get some juicy volleys in, but in terms of carry potential, it's it's not the same. I'll probably throw it in maybe C, like C tier, weak C. Like I still like the guns are still consistently very, very accurate. Um, but it's not really much of a carry ship. It's deceptively tanky, because it has Kremlin's armor scheme. And it's got hidden plates, so you can never get Citadel through the nose or the stern. And uh, provided you don't get broadside, you just angle even a bit. That Kremlin armor is stupidly tanky. In fact, a lot of battleships like Montanas and Yamatos, they can't even Citadel you unless you get go below 16 kilometers or something. Like, they can't touch you. They just shatter on your broadside. Uh... <laughs> okay, Adalbert. Makes sense. Um, GK? No, no. I, I, uh, GK, ish, especially in randoms. Once again, if this tier list was for ranked, GK would have something of value to bring. But for randoms, with, with carriers and subs and these terrible firing angles, this gigantic superstructure, this garbage handling, this huge no overmatch. Doesn't even have Schlieffen's stupid secondaries. Everyone has torpedoes now, except for GK. Um, I I just... I, I, I don't like the ship at all. I really don't like the ship at all. Um, incomparable? That's probably an easy A. That's an easy A. I won't quite put it into S, because if you get even slightly crossfired into this thing, you blow the fuck up instantly. But it's super strong. It's got dented overmatch, dented conceal. Um, it's hella fast. It's this thing is an absolute nightmare to run into because of the conceal on it. Like especially if you're playing a cruiser, running into this overmatch is absolute suffering. It's it's absolute suffering. Um, very very strong ship. Very strong ship. It, but it's really sweaty ship to play. Yeah, I mean. You you can't make mistakes in that ship. Income blows up. Income blows up really quickly if you make mistakes. But it's still very, very strong. It's very strong. Thunder? Thunder is probably still S tier. Thunder is probably still S tier. Um, the problem is I want to put St. Vincent in, in S tier as well. And I don't know if it's fair to share it with Thunder, because St. Vincent is better than Thunder. Uh, I think... Oh yeah, it has 6 game AS double. Okay, maybe we'll put it in here with the income then in A tier. We'll put it in here in A tier with this ship. Borgonia? I really, I, I've always liked Borgonia. Reload booster battleship? All that HE, all that speed? The problem is the low HP pool. And uh, if you start getting griefed by something, you, you don't have a whole lot of health to, to use it. Thunder is still just OP, of course it is. And the rudder shift and the gun or matching guns is, is nightmare. It's the fact that you have better rudder shift in the Thunder than you do in most cruisers is dumb. You got better conceal as well. They're both super like both income and thunder are super super strong. 
Borgonijada. I'd probably put Borgonia into B. It's good, but the complete lack of overmatch can be really annoying if you're facing someone who's decent at the game. Play, playing Borgonia into someone who's good at the game it can be super annoying. Like, if you're fighting some DM or Salem or something, and he just sits there nose in, you're, you're just not doing it. He's just bouncing everything, because free 80mm guns um, can't do shit. But it's a, still a really strong ship. It requires a fair bit of hands still to play. It's more of a oversized cruiser than BB. I mean, I'll probably put it into a strong B tier. Bungo? I don't know enough about the ship to make a, make <clears throat> an informed opinion. Um, based on what I've heard, it's pretty middle tier. Uh, but once again, I'm not going to rate it until I know. I'll post up once Bungo is released and I played it. I'll go back to this video and I'll edit the comment, edit my pinned comment, and let you know where I placed the Bungo. But right now, right now, not not going to bother. Mecklenburg. I really don't like Mecklenburg. Uh, I bought the Mecklenburg because it was people were hyping it, and I thought it was pretty damn mediocre. Um, it's like a Borgonia, except worse in basically every single way. Yeah, you get a turtle back, but it's not like Borgonia gets citadeled anyway, unless you're playing it like an idiot. Um, and Mecklenburg has this gigantic superstructure. It's so easily farmed. The firing angles are not anywhere near Borgonias. It doesn't have anywhere near the speed either. It's it's still accurate. It's got accurate guns. It's got accurate guns. Um, but in terms of like, if I'm playing randoms, do I feel threatened when I see a Mecklenburg? Not really. In fact, most people I see in Mecklenburg nowadays are uh, some cringe C players running around in spawn spamming H at me. That's that's what basically the Mecklenburg play I see in randoms. Um, I don't really know what where I would place it. Like, like I, I kind of want to place it in C tier, but then I'm like, if I see a Shiki or a Slava, I pay attention and I worry about the crossfire from them, because like th those things can both both of these can smash me if I'm not paying attention. But Mecklenburg is like, eh. but I still think it's better than Colombo. Uh, maybe I'll put it as a weak C. I'll put it as a weak C. I'm I'm just not. Uh, I I don't I don't. I don't really like the Mecklenburg. I don't really like it. I mean, this is fundamentally this is my opinion. People are more than more than more than likely to disagree. Montana. Oh, for randoms though. Like it's you can still chunk people really hard with those guns. And you heal an absurd amount. Like, Montana is pretty good. I don't think it's as good as Ohio. But I'd probably put it as a strong C tier. Montana still got that accuracy. The, the problem is the shells are slow, but like you can compensate by just aiming well. Um, you, get, you get smashed pretty easy. Well, Citadel pretty easy. Depends. Depends on RNG, <laughs> like many things, but... Uh, when I play it, I get sit. When I shoot full broadside Montanas, they don't get sit. So I would say the Citadel is somewhat trollish because it's so low. It's still a jack of all trades. It really is. I'll probably put it in as a as a pretty strong um, C tier ship. Certainly a bigger threat than Slava. So despite them being in the same tier, I would say Montana is a bigger threat than Slava because Slava struggles very, very heavily. Uh, in many situations where Montana can beat many BBs as long as it can maintain angling. Just like if you get the kite away in a Montana, you can almost kill any BB. It's pretty damn good at that. Mm. Loria? Dude, I should get back into playing it. I made the mistake when I played the Loria of using, trying to use to make the AP work, but the AP just doesn't work. It's kind of like Colombo. The second you load AP, the game gives you the middle finger. I still don't like that it's so situational, like you, you're not allowed to turn, you're not allowed to kite in any sort of close range because the, the citadel shape. It's got a unique citadel that gets you sit 
if your stern is pointed at anyone so you're basically always forced to commit you have to commit and then you have to stay with the commitment mm. but then on the other hand it's got 457 millimeter sap so you got our matching sap that just makes cruisers fucking suffer so hard uh i need to play it more to change my mind on it but right now i'd probably put it as a pretty strong b tier yeah honestly i don't think it has the versatility of these but i think it's really really strong still and it's still like briefing would i put it Borgonia? shit i don't know uh, the worst part about making this when you start you hesitate yourself do you agree with your own list do i agree with my own list do i think Borgonia is as good as loria hmm sap can overmatch yeah well if it's big enough caliber like loria loria has 457 sap so it overmatches which is fucking stupid Mm. Vermont. Vermont, back back when I last time did this tier list, Vermont was C tier. But it's not C tier now. Vermont is super strong. Like Vermont's guns are so juicy. It dances like a little ballerina. It's got that nice conceal. It's not an S tier ship though. But the guns are so busted. It's I think it's a strong A. It's a strong A tier ship for sure. It's a strong A tier ship for sure. Ver Brick is S. I'd like to put Brick as S, but ultimately, you can outplay Vermont positionally so easily. It's so goddamn slow. A Brick is never gonna run anything down. Brick is so glacially slow. That's the big weakness. That's the only thing keeping that ship in check. If Brick was faster, it would be completely busted. But if Brick is Brick for a reason. It, it you like if you see it on some part of the map, you know it's not going to be within have have moved much in the next five minutes because it's so slow. It's also pretty easy to farm, and it does have a sizable citadel. It does have a easily punchable citadel. In fact, the citadel armor on the Vermont is thinner than on many other battleships. So if you get to shoot the broadside on the Vermont, you can do huge damage. I mean, chat, chat, come on. We, I've shot the brick with my own brick. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Look, chat. How far away is this? How far away is this? This is... 17 km like look at the size of it. look oh it's a gunboat holland watch out i mean we're shooting it brick on brick it's violence touch, uh, but it's got it all of this is basically citadel oh yeah 90k nice 90k work. stop living in the past yeah the ages of the brick bullies mm. but yeah the problem is brick 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 where's where's brick Brick armor. It's not that strong. It's good, like it's got a 38. It's got a 38 outer. But then this. This is the citadel. Yeah, there's the waterline. Basically, we need to look at the inside. Here you go. It's 406 318. I think the 318 really is the bigger issue. It's spaced, so you do get the occasional shatter. But honestly, I've gotten sit a lot in this thing if I get broadside. So, the guns are insane, absolutely nuts, the concealment is fucking stupid, I don't think a battleship should ever have this kind of conceal, and it's, the acceleration on a brick is insane, like, it's, the acceleration is literally so good you can't even slot the prop mod, because it's got a built-in pro propulsion mod, so, it's surprisingly quick to accelerate, and very stealthy, and the guns are insane, but it's slow as sin, brisk is basically mandatory to get anywhere, um and the armor and the citadel can absolutely be punched so I'd, i yeah i'll put it in a i agree with my a. i agree with my a i agree with my a. kremlin oh man that's a tough one kremlin is still absurdly tanky but like this is randoms not rank kremlin is really good in rank but in randoms You need to push to be useful. And I feel... 
The guns are scary close. Long range, it's usually that one one shell that lands in your citadel for some fucking reason. Um, it's still a pain in the ass to kill, but like. In the current meta, you tr Kremlin tries to push in nose in, like the way you're supposed to push in the Kremlin. You try to actually play aggressive in Kremlin, and the submarine shotguns you, or starts pinging you and shit, and, and torturing you. So, once again, with all the subs in the game, I don't think Kremlin is fun to play. I don't think I've, I don't think a Kremlin is fun to play in the current meta at all, because like it's a ship that's ground up designed to shove into the enemy team, to push into the enemy team and, and be a pain in the ass and you can't really do that or if you try you get griefs by, by 15 different classes artillery is gamba it's still stupid tanky though and it's still has overmatch and it's got a lot of pen so it's uh, uh, do I put it no, I don't think it's I don't think it's fun enough for me to put it in B right now. I don't enjoy playing Kremlin in, in the current randoms at all. I don't enjoy playing it in randoms at all. I think I'll put it maybe week C. Sorry, not week C, just C. I think I'll just put it as C. It's better than Slava for sure. Because Kremlin is actually much more useful than Slava. But I don't enjoy playing it. I don't enjoy playing it. That's really the problem. Preussen? I mean, it's better than GK. But is that much to brag about? Is that much to brag about? Eight guns? Yeah, but at least it's an overmatch. They reload quick and they overmatch. I find GK guns much more reliable than Preussen, probably because it throws more guns at them. I don't really like either in randoms. Honestly, I don't want to play either in randoms. If the GK comes around, I know I can at least angle against the guns. A Preussen, I can't really angle against. You, but his shells go all over the place, but I can't really angle against them. They're in the cruiser, at least. Preussen has better firing angles. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to put it here. I think I think it's better than GK, but I don't like either ship. I Mostly for the firing angles more than anything, I like Preussen more. Because GK firing angles are so obnoxiously poor. Schlieff. If it was ranked, this thing would be almost S tier if it was ranked. Because Schlieff and fucking dumpsters people in rank. Uh, but randoms. Randoms with all the griefing that comes with randoms. Ish. The AI gunners are still absurdly good. I'll probably put it as B tier. Probably put it as a bit here. It's really good still, but it's it's not it's not nearly the monster it is. I'll probably put it in B tier. It's still obnoxious to deal with. And it's fun to play. And it's really strong. You feel like you can honestly melt most things. But uh it has no health pull. And if people actually focus you, like they shoot you. For some reason, a lot of people don't shoot Schlieffen, but if people decide to shoot you, uh, you take surprisingly much damage, and you melt pretty damn quick. And God forbid if a sub shows up, then, then it's good night, sweet prince. Your Hydro isn't gonna save you. But hey, at least you have Hydro, which helps you against especially potato subs. Conk? Conk is really strong, but would I put it up here? It, it doesn't have the handling, and there's stronger of these smashers now. It's still like it's still obnoxious, but that's this thing is so easy to punish nowadays. I feel like Conk is pretty easy to punish. Like once again, most Conquer players I see nowadays is is the um, C players kiting and spawn throwing H at me. I think Monty is a better ship than Conk. I think 
Kremlin is probably still a better ship than Conk. Conk is just obnoxious, but in terms of winning games in randoms, I don't feel Conk comes close to the winning power. And I'll probably put it somewhere here. Mm. St. Vincent? Yeah, that's our S2. That thing is so fucking stupid. That thing is so demented. It's still so demented. I don't understand why it's not nerfed. It's so demented. I think St. Vincent is just objectively one of the worst design decisions Wargaming has made. They took... They just... <laughs> it's just so much stupidity at once. It's almost hard to fathom how you can put so much stupidity on a ship at once. Shit, we don't even have modules on this thing. But, um... Whatever running on this cap. Change. Do I not have... Oh, it's not trained for him? Whatever. But... Okay. 12.8 conceal. On a battleship. Okay, fine. 32.5, plus you can build brisk for 10%. Plus you get a speed boost for another 8%. Like, I'm sorry, what? You have a super heal. Okay, why? Your, wa your, your citadel is basically waterline. Your citadel is this thing. You see this thing below the two different layers of armor? Like you have the outer layer, you have this inner, and you have this this chunk here. This is your actual citadel. You have this this fucking thing here on waterline. So you not only do you need to hit waterline, you also need to get past all of this shit to actually get the citadel. Um, 457 millimeter guns, so you overmatch every fucking cruiser that is out there. Um, 30 second turret first, of course, because it's a new ship. Oh, and you're firing Thunder HE. You're firing 63% fire chance Thunder HE shells. So, someone angles against you, you burn them to death in a heartbeat. Uh, it's a cruiser, you just overmatch them to ship. It's... And then you think, okay, well, uh, like we can survive the dumb, dumb fucking speed conceal, uh, super heal, underwater citadel and maybe we can brawl it but no you fucking can't because it's got these obnoxious retarded curving torps that it can basically launch straight forward and these torpedoes hit you for 30k a pop 30,000 29,400 damage a pop these torpedoes so did th th you're basically launching these two little fucking dev strikes uh, it's <sighs> less damage than thunder he yeah but you still have the fire chance of the thunder he the, the HE Alpha is what, uh, 7.1k and Thunder is 8.2k. But you still have the same pen. Basically, you, the HE pens, uh, you get a quarter. No, sorry, you get a quarter pen. One sixth pen, not quarter pen on some things. Wait, how does that even work? How does one, some British ships get quarter pen, but some British ships get one sixth pen? Huh, that makes no sense. But yeah, your HE is still a 76mm pen means you you citadel shit like small ends and you basically pen everything. But yeah, no. And St. Vincent has this really low hull waterline, this weird superstructure that makes no sense and makes it obnoxiously hard to farm. It's got good firing ang angles and if one of these things is just kiting away from you, spamming HE at you, um, good luck having any sort of chance catching up to this thing. How fast did this thing go? It was it was something stupid, right? It was like 32.5x brisk x speed boost. Yeah, 38.6. So most so most DDs can't even catch up to this thing. Uh most cruisers can't even out most cruisers struggle to outspot this thing. Oh plus flag, shit, you're right. You're right. So it was uh 38.6 times. I forgot about the flag, you're right. Oh yeah, 40 knots. 40, 40, over 40. It's... Ship makes no sense. It it makes no sense. I think it's the height of garbage design. Um, you have the concealment of a cruiser, the speed of a DD, but the guns of a battleship, and a super heal as well. And uh, no, an almost unhittable citadel. It's... Yeah, no. Uh, St. Vincent is S. Easy S tier. It's still a stupid, stupid ship. It pays for its strength by being one of the ugliest things ever created. Republic.
The public still has that nasty, nasty reload going for it. Overmatch and reload. But man, those guns, they, they... Getting used to Republic guns is an experience because, like... You basically want to be shooting all the time. It's not like something like Vermont where you wait for that juicy salvo and you pull the trigger. Vermont, you just... Or Republic, you just vomit out shells and hope for the best. You vomit, you vomit, you vomit, you hope for the best. Um, I'd probably put it... Shit, I don't know. Somewhere in C tier. I feel like they're, they're kind of even depending on the situation. Shit. Republic. I don't know if I agree with the Kremlin position, though, because I've... It's certainly much better. I don't see... I don't know if I agree with this, because I think Republic is much better than Slava. But now they ended up on the same tier. I'm not sure I agree with this. I feel like I should have more tiers going. Because Republic is much better than Slava, but now they're on the same tier. Hmm. B tier? No, but the guns are so inconsistent. Republic guns are... Oh, they're frustrating. Yamato. Well, leg mod Yamato. Leg mod Yamato is still a f monster. And if you put Chiki here, I have to put it as a weak B. Because I think... Leg mod Yamato is better than uh, Shikishima. Significantly better. I don't know if I'll put Shikishima above Montana though, because see now I'm not now I'm not sure I like Shikishima's position. Maybe like this. Oh, this is this 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 is this is difficult. This is difficult. This uh, you know you know what the problem with the tier list like this is, Jeff. You know what the problem with the tier list like like this is? I could make the exact same list tomorrow and this entire line could be completely different. Like they might all be flipped around depending on mood. In fact, the entire BC, the only thing I'm very confident about is my opinions on the S and A tiers and my opinions on the D and E tiers. These things I'm very, very confident about. But then where these guys line up on B to C, that's very much up in there. That's very much up in there. That could be all over the place. That could be all over the place. But yeah, this is solo play random battles. That's what this list is for. If you're doing divisions, then, well, then it, nothing makes sense anymore. Are you smoking up your Schlieffen? Okay, it's an S tier ship. Uh, are you using your Louisiana to spot for your team while they're killing DDs? Okay, then suddenly that's a fucking strong A tier ship. It, it, once again, it's solo carry strength, kinda. And in my opinion, that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, Bungo will put in precision once we have any idea where the hell to put Bungo. Right now, I have no idea, but people have been asking for this for a while, so this is my hesitant opinion. I can't wait for people to get mad about this. 10 out of 10. We'll put it on YouTube. Plo, Plo having his own opinions? Yeah, I know. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole who has opinions. How dare I? I can't wait to be called out. Stop having shit opinions, guy. 